Now we're back to our multi-song audio montage, and it's time to enter the metadata for both CD text and the metadata that will appear on AAC files or MP3 files if you still use that format. First of all, let's look under the CD tab and go to the functions menu where we can find edit CD text. And the reason that I do the CD text first will become apparent a little bit later. But here you can enter the title of the projects. So this is actually called or the album is called Love in America. And then you can enter the performer, which would be the bachelors until you get the songwriter, composer, arranger, and all the other things that you'd want to enter as far as the CD text that will appear on CD text compatible CD players. And this is the metadata for the album. And so all of this data is going to be for the album itself. And you can choose to use these little buttons right here to put the performer into every single song on the CD. So it'll copy the text to all of the other tracks. So let's go ahead and do that with The Bachelors. And then if I had entered the songwriter, which was Phil Isom, for most of these tracks, I'll click this. And then if I had filled out the composer, arranger, and so forth, I could use these buttons to populate the following data with that same information. But now when we use the elevator box to scroll down, then we can add whatever data we wanted to for each of these tracks. So the title of track number one when it shows up as CD text is actually going to be called Love in America. That's the title track. And the songwriter is Phil Isom. Then I'm going to go down one more tick and go to track number two. And this is She's the One. And then the songwriter here was actually me. So I would put that information here. And then you would go through the rest of the tracks until you have populated all of those fields with the CD text. Once you do that, it's going to give me an error right here because I didn't fill out all the information, but that's okay. We're just going to do this as an example. And then the data itself becomes part of the montage. You'll notice that even though all we did was enter some CD text, there's an asterisk next to the name of this montage. That indicates that we have changed something about this montage. So let's go ahead and hit the save button. And so now when you burn this CD, either from WaveLab as a real audio CD or or sending it off as a DDP image to a replication house, that CD text will become part of the final product. But we still need to enter the metadata for things like AAC files, MP3 files, or other lossy formats. That information is found under the metadata tab, and right now we don't have any metadata, so we'll need to hit the edit button. And here you can choose which type of metadata you want to add. I'm going to go to ID3 slash iTunes, which is where I'll find the tabs that you'll use for MP3 data, which is the ID3 version 1. But AAC files use ID3 version 2. So we'll go in here. And here, for every single track, you can enter the composer, the genre, the song title, and so forth. But since we've already added some of that data as CD text, there's a preset for that down here. So when you click the preset button, you can go to factory presets and use album from CD text. And what that will do is populate the following fields with the data from the CD text that you have already entered. And if you want to include the lyrics or the artwork for the album, you can enter that on these tabs and then press on OK. And again, all we did was added the metadata for AAC files. And you'll notice that that becomes part of the audio montage as well. So we'll need to hit save again. So that's how you enter CD text and metadata. Next, let's talk about rendering linear audio files.